guys, so welcome to this new video and this is part 4 in the mini-series that I'm doing on X17, X47, a, G a German uh, brand of leather notebooks uh, ranging from vegan uh, covers to very high-end uh, leathers and so I'm going to show you um, all the uh, regular leather colors or leather covers that they have and let's step right in because we have plenty of things to see and I wish to make this a less than and have a video so let's start with the uh, vegan option that they have which is the Texan uh, so I'm going to show you the samples and then when I do have the equivalent in notebooks I'm going to show you the notebooks as well so, so most of the time that will show you variations in the leather but with this one you will have no variations in the leather because it's not leather. So this is the uh, their first vegan answer uh, to a uh, newer demand in quality notebooks with their system but was not actually using real skin. So uh, this comes in two colors only. This is some kind of cellulose used, uh, that one being the black one and this one being the stone one. So basically uh, a dark grey rather than a black and a light grey which I really like. The colour is absolutely nice. You can see the nuance with the uh, white S from a partner at the back. And since it was very simple they decided to colour uh, the rest of the notebook and I will show you that in a minute. But what I'm going to show you first with the using the stone is the resistance of it. Right, so this has a feel that it's like cellulose, so it's it's got a cardboard feel, definitely. As you can hear. So it looks like cardboard. Um, someone uh, from the company told me that they were actually looking for other solutions that looked more like real leather, because this does not. It's cardboard, but it's actually quite resistant. So, you do not want to play this, but if you go at it with your fingers, with your nails, doesn't show. If you got it with your keys, hardly shows. It's pretty strong actually for something that looks like cardboard, it's quite strong. So let me show you what, how it looks like with all the colors. So they decided to color the stitches, and so let me capture this. Here's the grey on stone and grey on black, so each time you've got the same colour of stitching on both possibilities of the stone and the black. So this is kind of discreet when it comes to colour. I like this one better, for example, the purple one. Very nice on stone, very nice on black too, but I prefer it on the stone colour. The turquoise, nice on both. The colour looks different on the black one. A light green, quite nice on both as well. I like this brown one. I like the brown, well it's more tone on tone, but this one on the stone colour is actually quite nice. The blue one, which is funny because it comes it's it looks lighter on the stone one and darker. This looks like light blue and Darker, a darker shade of blue, but it's the same one exactly on both colors. The pink one, pretty nice and girly. The red one, of course, standing out pretty nicely on the black. The black one, for those of you with classic desires. And some orange for a more original choice than the red one. And let me show you the result on an X17 notebook, let me put that nicely. Here goes. So, you choose one stitching color and then you will choose the elastic in the same color. So, it has a little bit more energy than the regular, just the regular cardboard like cover. So, that's it for the Texan. Let's move on to the next one. I need a drink. Now, let's move on to the Lefas and I had put them in the right order before but ah. and the natural ones. 
So this one is a particular lever. It's reconstituted lever. The nice thing about it is that you use parts that would not have been used, that would have been thrown away, and then you uh, use these parts, you mash the lever into very small pieces and you compact them into something that is reconstituted lever. Uh, it's used in cars, from what I know, it's used uh, in furniture as well, because it's pretty solid, pretty uh, resistant, and you will see that on, uh, on these two natural ones. These ones are the natural looking ones and these ones have a color, uh, color on it that was added so the uh, um, resistance is not the same. Why would you choose that type of lever? Well, this comes in the X17 collection. It is cheaper than regular lever. Oh, that's, so that's one point. The other thing is that you've got the exact same colors, or almost exactly the same colors, in the uh, Italian levers from the X47 steel collection. But the feel is pretty different between the two. We'll come to that later, but we'll start with the uh, Leffa Graphite and Leffa Nature. So this one is the Leffa Graphite. We've talked about it in the previous videos. It has a strange, strange plasticky feel, but that's actually grainy and pretty nice. It's not just black, it's just black with bits of grey, bits of brown indented into it. I think you'll see it better on another one that I have. Here you can see the little brown parts inside. The smell is the smell of leather and the feel is extremely nice, though it's a bit plasticky, it doesn't feel like the touch of leather, but it's actually nice. You also have the Lefa Nature. The feel is less grainy than the black one, it's smoother, it's extremely nice, extremely nice. It's relatively soft, softer than these ones and it's actually quite modern I think, especially this one and that's the reason why it was reused in the X47 steel collection right so let's let me show you what it looks like in a notebook very classic-y from the start but when you move closer to it you realize the material is quite modern on an A5 there goes. And in the X17 version, this one with a bit more color in it. There we go. So, as to the resistance of this, let me show you with this one. That's something that's pretty resistant. The mark, if you see the mark, is not the lever, but it's actually uh, my nails staying on it. Okay. Don't be too sensitive about this. These are samples that are made to this. Very resistant. Here it is. A little dentation. It left a little dent there. It's actually quite small. And here it goes. So you've got a very strong resistant leather. That will go away. No problem with time. That's one of the particularities of the leffers. They are pretty strong and resistant. Also the reason I'm using this test is because most of the time when I put a leather notebook in my uh, in my bag um, the, I tend sometimes to put my keys as well in it and it scratches my uh, notebooks. I don't use sleeves for notebooks. They should leave their own lives so I'm not using sleeves. Except when I keep them uh, on my shelves, because in that case then you want a sleeve to protect them from the light. That's particularly important. So, let me show you the leather colors and then I will show you how strong that leather is in comparison with the Italian leathers. So here we've got the orange. I will keep that one aside to show you how it reacts. The black, standard. A bright green. 
that you will also find in the Italian levers. This one, the Turkish green, you will not find among the Italian levers. So the, the reason why you've got two colors uh, here that are missing in the other collection is that these two colors were not holding time and light very well compared to the others in the Italian levers, so they made the decision to uh, take them out. The royal blue one, a dark blue, very dark blue actually, dark blue one. Here is the violet, which is almost like eggplant. Here is the magenta. It's a little more pink from what I can see here rather than on the screen of my camera, so I wonder whether that color would be well rounded, but it's actually quite pink. The red one. So, to help you compare, see it's not an orange color. And the yellow one. Finally in this one. And that's the only one with the color white. So if you're a white fan, you have your color white. I think there's two things about this color. Let me put aside the uh, other colors. Now this color not my thing, especially not with a leather that is so smooth and shiny. Uh, but maybe then you've got, there's two reasons why you could choose that leather. First one is if you have a stain on it, then this is so resistant you can wash it. The second is that with such a white sheet of paper, then probably you could use a marker and make your own decoration on it, probably make something a bit oriental. That could be a nice choice then. Okay, so let's go back to this color and let me show you uh, the same in the uh, Italian levers. So here you've got the uh, same two colors, just difference that you've got more light on this one, but the sun is changing constantly. That's winter sun after the snow. So it snowed yesterday, almost no daylight. So, here is the Letha version. So, if you listen, that's very strong and firm leather. Does not move. Not easy to ply. So, this has been machine, done with a machine so you can stay, well, not this one, but on the uh, regular ones. So, I tried. I don't know if you can see the difference between the two. Probably not, because it's so strong. I roll this one, see if it, if it would become a bit more supple with time. So that's the suppleness. So no, it's not very supple, it's a firm leather. Well, after you roll it, it's uh, still very firm. And that's the effect, so not a strong effect, absolutely no pull-up effect on this one. Pretty standard, a homogeneous. Right? So pretty strong. The idea with this lever is that if you're the kind of person who likes their uh, leather notebooks to stay exactly like they were on the first day and five days, uh, five years later, that's the one you will choose. Now, if you want to see the contrast with this piece from the Italian lever, it's much more supple here, and it shows a lot more if you ply it. There you see. So it's not the same at all. Also, you won't wash this one. <laughs> no way. Well, just a little maybe, but not too much. Moving on to the right, you'll see that you won't be able to use a sponge on the last ones, but on these ones, definitely you can. Like, for example, I've got something that's not looking very nice here. Up, oh, it's gone. There we go. Okay, now let's move on to the X47 steel and the Italian levers. So these are premium levers for in the steel collection. So first we'll have a look at everything you will find in the... Uh, ah, light! Mm. Everything you will find in the X47 steel collection I will show you that the X47 collection is a bit larger, well a bit, about 100 levers. So here we've got the chestnut brown, 
which also can also be found in the uh, X17 but I will keep these ones for later because these are my favorites the cognac the black matte one and there we find the same colors that you've seen before the yellow the uh, violet the blue which shows a bit of cracking of the superior finish the pink or magenta the black with a uh, shine some sh a bit of shine the green the orange the red and of course the lithographite because I told you that the lithographite was integrated with these ones so let me show you these and then I will show you the corresponding notebooks each time because I have all the colors in notebooks so let's start with the orange one which is the one I used to uh, test the resistance so as you can see uh, if you apply the lever then you will have marks which you do not have on this side because it's absolutely smooth so uh, all the time I tried what I can do on the right side and left the uh, left side as it was from the start and you can see the difference now in terms of resistance there oh so I got a little dent there okay leather is supple enough that you can make part of it disappear right and if you scratch it with your fingers it doesn't show so it's still some kind of pretty resistant leather right oh so let me show you the uh, the steel version of it here we go so notebook so that royal blue so this time you get only this blue because the other one was not reacting too well to the light so that's the royal blue let me show you the nice color it has S more supple of course than the leffa and the smell <sighs> that's liver goods for sure we well, do get the smell with the leffa as well but not that strong and here is the well let me put that there and here is the uh, blue notebook in the steel version all these notebooks you can see in detail in the video number three here's the green the green is very supple as you can see the suppleness depends on two things the color that is used will turn the lever a bit different than the other colors also it depends on which piece of the skin was used so you've got two things that influence the color well sometimes the ink give the lever uh, more firmness and sometimes they stay supple like this so let me show you it's a bit less supple on this one so you can see it's not as pliable stronger so here's the notebook in that green color which is exactly the same that you got in the uh, Leffa collection except you do not get the Turkish green in this collection for the same reason as with the blue right the pink like the green uh, has more suppleness than uh, the others and it's even uh, more remarkable on uh, this one so here goes pretty nice looking notebook very supple so let me show you because sometimes depending on the color the reactions are different All right. so you can see where I scratched it with my nails where I scratched them with, with the keys and the little dent still it's quite resistant uh, it's ingrained inside but it, it hasn't cut into the first layer let me show you the notebook again that's very nice looking I like this little pink one it's very very nice here you can see the magenta color coming out uh, the yellow one 
bit more unusual color this one nice inside I won't go into too much detail about the colors because I I went through it in uh, the third part so go watch the third part if you want a lot of details about these notebooks it's the same leather just the color changes but it's the same same leather here the you can see the veins coming out a bit stronger than in other colors it really depends on which part of it you got so this one is the violet here you can see this one has taken a bit more light since this one stayed in a it stayed in a bag and this one was outside taking the sun so it has moved to uh, something that is more like burgundy than eggplant so here goes the red one very nice little shiny red color here very nice looking and here is the corresponding notebook that's very nice both for men and women because I think the red color is pretty feminine but the uh, the stainless steel system here makes it quite nice for men as well my husband finds it very nice this red one and finally the black one where do I have the black one there it goes so if you like your blacks shiny and you don't mind them taking strong marks with time well that was hard I went with the keys on it that was strong and that's the one very classic very elegant with the stainless steel perfect looking isn't it well black is more standard but it has so much charm these little black notebooks have a lot of charm to them I still prefer the vegetable tan leathers that we'll see at the end but black so it's so nice and classic so right okay now let's move to X47 now what you have to know with with X47 is that basically they have around 100 different levers. Okay, I'll stop the video and come back because it will stop after 25 minutes. Okay, back to this. So I was saying that they have plenty of plenty of levers. The ones that I'm going to show you are the standard ones you will find on the website, but you can ask for many more different levers. Actually, in this collection, you can ask for absolutely everything you want, and they will try to. Uh, they will try to do it. So here, let me move the light a bit. There, I think it's a bit better. So, here is a grainy lever in red, classic red, classic pink, grainy, very supple. Of course, these ones are meant to uh, be worked on with stitching, so they are thinner and a lot more supple. I like this one. This one is the blue, I think. Yes, that's right. That's the blue. It looks so much like the gray, this one, but it's actually a grayish blue. The violet. So you, you will find the same type of colors than in the other collections, but this time they move to something more classic and less energetic in terms of color. The violet here. And let me show you the violet here. It's not exactly the same, but they are trying to have the same types of color offer among the different brand brands. The cognac, of course, very far away from the uh, cognac that I'm going to show you later on. The uh, brown, no chocolate, chocolate. This one, but it's a brown. Then that's the uh, gray and that's the black so the nuance between the grey and the black is very subtle subtle sorry very nice little lever I'm going to show you the samples the biggest samples then here we've got the classic smooth red matte finish the black in the same type of finish the thinned version versions of the vegetable levers, the cognac and the chestnut and then the premium gaucho levers in brown red 
and black with the uh, shiny finish. Very subtle one. Very supple one, sorry. And let me show you them. Whoops! In the bigger sample, and we are going to attack these ones with my keys and my fingers again. So, uh, up these ones, they are the same type, so I'm just going to show you in the which one? The black one maybe will show the mark stronger. So here we've got a smooth matte finish in black, brown and red. Maybe the red one will show marks more easily. Of course there is a purple one. Bit of grain. Very supple. Nice elasticity. And there, uh, if we go at it, oh, little dance, already gone. <laughs> well, so so supple, it, the marks didn't dance inside will move. Now scratches. Hmm. It's hardly showing. It's there. It's there, but you will hardly see it. So. What comes out during this test is that it's actually uh, a leather that looks more fragile, but it's definitely very resistant. Not fragile at all, it's classic. Classic one. Okay, now the grainy ones. So I'm going to show you larger samples than the ones you saw before. The blue one. So I'm going to use the light to show you the blue, but this side you will never see on the X47. You will only see this side. Very supple, nice grain, nice elasticity. To give you an idea of where you will find that type of lever, on your sofa, on your couch, that's exactly the same type of lever, same type of feel, and the same type of elasticity. So which one is this? The black one? No, that's the grey one. Let me check. So it's difficult to see the difference between the... Okay, that's the grey, that's the black. <laughs> that's the grey one. And that's the uh, black one. Green is perfect. So the green is not natural, it's actually printed... press printed on leathers. Leathers do not have these grains naturally. The brown colors, the brown and the cognac, well, chocolate and cognac to be uh, more precise. The pinks with the uh, violets and the magenta. There we go. Pink, magenta, and finally the red one which we're going to uh, aggress, attack. Oh, I lost a little dog on my keys. Right. That's a strong one. Back. Of course, with grain, you see absolutely nothing of what I have done. So, if you like the feel of grainy leather, Know that this one is extremely resistant as well. Extremely resistant. Let me go at it a bit stronger then. But stronger than that, unless you make them fall on stone. Huh. Can you see anything? I see one scratch there. It's almost invisible to the eye. Extremely nice quality of leather to resist that kind of aggression. And finally, you've got the shiny ones in three colors premium gaucho leather in a casual brown, red, and black. So, which one are we going to try it on? The red one, probably. That's the one on which it will come stronger. So, let me show you the nuances anyway. This one? I really love this one. I think this is the most beautiful of the three because 
it shines nicely and you've got nuances in it of brown. The black of course is more standard but it's actually quite beautiful to watch. It's very shiny and it's very smooth to the touch but you can actually see the vein in the leather so it does really nicely look like leather and smells wonderful. The Gosho, if you have seen part 3 of my videos, is the one I showed you in the A6 format. So let me show you how that will resist. Nails. Okay. Keys light, keys strong, and dense. Okay, so that lever, contrary to the other one, we show marks very easily. Is it supple enough that you can actually make it go a little just by rubbing it? Yeah, a little, but not much. With time, probably. So that's light scratching, that's very strong scratching the keys. So this one will get marks, but I went at it quite strongly. This one was not so strong, so it takes marks easily. Yeah, that was absolutely uh, obvious. It was going to take marks a, bit, marks a bit strongly. So now let's move on to the vegetable levers from Belgium. These are by far my favorites. They come in six different colors and they go two by two. So let me show you. Well, let's start with the more standard colors. The black to my left and the red to my right. Okay, so, well, it's your right as well. This one is has a matte finish that you didn't have in the other colors. So let me show you uh, in contrast with a shiny one. That's the matte finish. So I already scratched it and dented it, so you no need to start again. Uh, this is the dent that the keys got when I did the video in French. And those are the scratches. So it takes marks, but then I went strongly at it, so it's pretty resistant as well. But you will get marks. Marks that will disappear, like this one, this one probably not. But this one, with time, with patina, it will tend to disappear. This one will patina, and it will get shiner in time. So that's the black Natur. Natur Schwarz. The red one. Ah, this one is nice. What is nice about this one is the grainy aspect of it. So let me show you something about the black leather. This one actually has uh, in variations. Uh, up there. No, that's not the one I'm looking for. That's the one I'm looking for. This Italian leather has a lot of variations. So first, it will patina with time, as I said, and be, get more shiny, or shinier. This is how it takes the uh, scratches. They do not completely disappear, but gets more supple, subtle in time. You'll see the veins. Here you do see the veins as well on this one. Oh, sorry. <coughs> It's the sun. I sneeze with the sun and the sun is coming on my hand and that's enough for me to sneeze. Amazing. And as you can see, you can also have grainy versions depending on the piece of the animal that is used. So with this one, you definitely have to ask for what you want. Do you want something that is shinier? Do you want something that is more matte finish? Do you want something that has more grain into it? You have to ask. Or else you won't know what you get. So, better ask. That's my vision. So, this sample here is a grainy version, but it's the same as the other one. You have to ask. But it's very nice with the grain. I like it with the grain. The grainier, the less it will show marks. There it goes. Oh, that was a strong one. Here you can see the dent. There. Yeah. And you absolutely do not see the scratch marks because of the grain. It protects. 
Also this one, if you do not know, you will think it's a grain. Extremely resistant. Okay, now let's move on to these two that go together, the uh, cognac and the chestnut. So let's start with the chestnut. Compared to the two others, the feel is exactly the same. It's as supple. It's pretty supple, despite the fact that it's a thicker leather. Color is nice. Grain is strong in this one. Now I've got variations of this one, you will see. There's plenty of differences. Ah, the sun is turning again. There we go. So let me put it there so that you see it better. So here I've got the uh, small version. So as you can see, the elastic left a mark on this one X17 version. So you've got a scratch at the top showing that that is the level you will choose because you enjoy marks. And here comes a version with darker tones. So, you see the variation you can get? It's quite strong. It also show you, shows you on this one that where you have grain, you will have darker tones and lighter tones with time. So this one will not stay that clear. But again, ask for what you want. This is brand new. This is the sample. So if you want chestnut in a lighter chestnut or in a stronger chestnut, then you have to ask. There it goes, the variations. And now let's have a look at scratches. So, no need to make a dent again. I may do a very strong one there. Well, no need for the scratches either. You can see them, I guess. That scratch was made with the key. That one was with my nails, I think. Or the reverse. That's a lever that will take marks easily. And that's a lever, as you can see, that will get darker with time. Whoop. No. Darker with time, taking marks. So that one, like the cognac, you will choose because you like something that will become unique with time. That's exactly the same with this cognac, which is like the little brother from the chestnut. Also, lots of variations in this one. And a lot of reds coming in that level with time. As you can see in the sun, this one looks like honey. Let me put that here so you can get a nice idea of colors. That's, the, in my opinion, the most beautiful color that they have in their levers. It's a very exciting lever. The feel of this is absolutely gorgeous. This is beautiful, but the touch of it, the listen. That's what you think of when you think about levers. I wish I could get myself a Objects made out of this leather. That's so nice. Like a wallet, something like this. <gasps> that will age so fast. Be so nice. So let me show you how it ages. And the nuances you can get when you buy them anew. So, this is the X47 steel version. Here, in comparison, the color is a bit stronger on this one, but both are brand new. Well, the sample is new, it has never been used, but this has not been used either. Now you've got another variation, but this time in the X17 version. As you can see, using the elastic leaves a mark. So it's clearer where the elastic stands. And so this is a bit of a pull-up lever. As you can see, comes lighter. So let me try which one is darker. This one. And you've got a little pull-up effect that you can see there. But it's not very, very strong. You'll see stronger versions on another one. That's the ones. So that kind of grain. So let me show you how these ages because I have got a four or five year old notebook in that color. So let me open it. Let me show you 
the variation. So as I told you, this one is going to move from a honey colored version to a whiskey colored version. Ah, oh, there, looks nicer. And you've got more reds coming into the leather. The reason is the sun falls on the skin and the skin keeps reacting like our own skins for some reason, even when the rest of the animal is no longer present, but actually you learn that cows do get, do get tanned. And so the color gets darker with time and it has red hues coming out of it so that in the end instead of having just that honey color then you will get those brown hues, red hues inside the leather and where the grain is stronger or where like I do you put your fingers more often then you will get those dark brown hues. It ages beautifully and that's that's a notebook that will look great from the very first day and will look amazing when time goes on and when you use it. It's very very nice leather. But that one is definitely my favorite color of all of our levers. Favorite leather, favorite feel, favorite color, the cognac. That's a sure thing in this collection. And the last two, well, the last two, that's the Maroon and the Brandy. These ones are strong, strong levers. When I first received uh, the uh, notebooks, because I have them in notebooks, I gave my impression to X47 and their representative and told them, this looks like heavy duty notebooks. And they told me they were thought for heavy duty. So let me show you, uh, I've got other versions, yes, these two are other versions. So let's start uh, maybe with the, uh, uh, with the uh, Maroon, the brown, brown one. So as you can see, this is a pretty stiff leather. So of course it cannot be used for, uh, with stitching, absolutely not, it's too strong. Listen. Oop. So strong it jumps. Ah. Listen. You see? It's very strong. It's not smooth. It's, it lacks subtlety. Suppleness. Oh my god, the words are so close. So you've got a shiny finish. Protective finish. It's a pull-up lever as you can see. You've got a pull-up effect on this one and it takes marks like crazy. So you see that one, let me show you up close, that one's a dent when I threw the key on it, that is an alien scratch, that's key scratch. If you love leather that will take marks like crazy, this is the one for you. Also, this is extremely resistant in a way. It's not resistant, resistant to scratches, but the lever is strong. Definitely very strong one. And beautiful looking as well. Browns, with variations also on the PCs you get. I bought a X17 notebook in this one. Plenty of difference between the two. I actually would have loved to receive this one rather than this one. This is a bit dry in my opinion. So I probably will find a solution to that dryness, but it arrived to dry. That was a bit of a deception. But this piece there looks very nice. And with time, that dryness that you will see with the uh, natural grease from the hands, it will become a bit more like this one and that would be nicer. I have a very, very small sample of this Morona. Here looks that's what I oh sorry that was that was what I was expecting when I bought this one and now let's move out to the brandy let's go back to uh, alcoholic colors again so that's the brandy it's like the same as the other one but with a lighter lighter hue 
So this one looks almost black in comparison with this one. Pretty nice, same characteristics, stiff, strong and resistant. Pull up effect is extremely strong in this one. Look. There you go. So, you can see anyway in the center the pull up effect, the one I did for the French video, and then dense. <gasps> that was a strong dent, and the scratches coming out very strongly. So, what will happen with time? With time, that lever is going to get a very, very nice feel. It will become very smooth, but all the marks will show you will have plenty of them. That's heavy duty, but it's also something that you have to buy knowing that it will take scratches like mad. I love this actually. I love that type of lever. That would be a wonderful uh, thing to take anywhere with you. Uh, working with it everywhere, putting it on the ground, on stones, and getting plenty of scratches because that's so thick <laughs> it will not get destroyed anyway. Let me show you a version of it that will show you the nuances you can get. This one is a thinner one because it's in the uh, notes, X17 notes version, so it's uh, more supple and uh, more, let's say, reddish hue version. So let's compare it to the brown first. Pull up effect here. Compared to this one, let's compare it like this. So here you see it's uh, more red on this one, maybe. Oh, both are nice looking, so maybe again, that would be a good idea to ask which version you want. One that is more like whiskey and another that is closer to brandy. But it's nice. Very nice. So, that's the end uh, of my presentation of all the levers. My personal advice would be... Uh, well, let me show you uh, the pieces. I like the brandy, despite the fact that it takes marks easily. The cognac. You cannot make a mistake with the cognac. The morone, uh, the chestnut one, maybe less character than the cognac, but still nice, nice version. And the red one is actually a nice one too. I really love the uh, vegetable tanned levers. Now, uh, in the X47 collection, I personally uh, like the Premium Go, Sh Go Show in uh, Casual Colors. In the Italian levers, I think all of them look very standard, uh, almost the same. And now that's a question of color, really, because they show the same characteristics. There are little variations in suppleness in the leather, but not much. Uh, in the leather, same thing. You'll choose something that's pretty resistant. My advice personally in the leather is go for the leather graphite. It's a pretty nice dark black one. And that's it for this one. So next video will be about the insert, because now I think you have an idea of what the levers look like. I'm sorry for the variations in the light. It's actually changing all the time, uh, despite the fact that I also have artificial light. So next time we'll see the insert. You've got plenty of choice in the inserts as well. So that's one of the characteristics of this brand, is that you have plenty of choice in terms of size, in terms of what you format, in terms of levers, lever covers, and in terms of inserts. So we'll see that next time, and that will be part 5. So keep in touch, because you should come... Uh, in just a few weeks. Right, see you next time and thank you for watching up till the end of this video. Don't forget to put a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and see you next time. Till then, take care.